Today we're going to check out this iVidi Pet vacuum, which is uh, available on Amazon. I'm going to start out with a unboxing, and then I'm going to do a uh, product review, and I think you'll find it interesting. So stay around. You're watching Animal Facts. So I uh, did a whole um, recorded a whole video of unboxing this product out of the box. Uh, just a uh, that <laughs> a rather generic looking box. Unfortunately, my computer decided not to save that video. So rather than put it all back in the box and fake the thing again, we're just going to say we started outside the box. This is going to be a unboxed unboxing. So um, let's start with with the top here. Um, so we'll set you out of the way. We don't need you for now. So. Let's start with what we got. The first thing we saw in the box was um, the instruction manual here. Just regular old printed instruction manual. Nothing special about that. Put that over there. Um, just basics to uh, the different stuff on it. Um, it's rather simple, but doesn't need to be all that difficult. Uh, so yeah, we. Um, we started off with the, uh, the the tray here was the first thing in the box here uh, after the instruction manual. At least that's what I picked out first, and uh, yeah, it's there. Uh, so it's a convenient, so we can start putting things in it as we get them out of the box. Um, this uh, came in it. This is a um, is a, a pen brush for uh, brushing your dog out. Um, helps with the undercoat and stuff. Um, you push it up and down to you know help evacuate hair and you can leave it in the store position there so your needles start getting uh, pressed of course it um it um uh plugs into the vacuum cleaner hose um that's what the big unit is so yeah it's um right mm. yeah so it plugs right in that's all the attachments to this do and so yeah you um take that in your tray Next we have a, uh, a rake type brush. Also has so you can lock it into a more uh, safe position so you're not getting your your, your brush there bent up. Um, plugs into the vacuum cleaner. Um, nice construction here. I like the way this stuff is uh, put together. Um, next up we have just a, a brush, almost like an upholstery brush. Um, um, I think it's pretty much what that is, an upholstery brush. And you, with the vacuum attachment on there. Now it comes with a lot of a lot of vacuum cleaners come with that. So um, yeah, and the standard um, tube that comes with every vacuum cleaner, pretty much. Um, and getting down into your um, creases and crevices, like on a couch or something like that, is standard standard fare there for a vacuum cleaner. And then uh, last but not least, we have um, a trimmer head and. Um, it comes with uh, several guides. You just um, yeah, plug on there and you just train a uh, standard trimmer head. Unlike most trimmers, though, it does have a uh, uh, you know where you can vacuum the hair while you're um, while you're uh, uh, trimming. <laughs> so you're not constantly um, you know trying to keep up with hair. Um, it does. Uh, it is rechargeable. It um, this is a um, uh, micro. Just plug it in, charge it, and uh, it's not charged at all. I will be charging that before I do a uh, review video. This is just your unboxed unboxing, <laughs> unboxed unboxing. So yeah, you tray for everything in it. You can take all your guides here, and yeah, you can plug them right on into there. Nice and neat. We can set this away for now. And then we have uh, the main star of the show. This is the uh, vacuum cleaner unit itself. Has power, um, power button, three different levels there. Um, rather neat design here. Be looking at it more in. Um, 
it's a backless design, of course, um, so it comes in handy. Um, there you have where you plug in the hose. It is um, the power AC mains there. Okay, so I guess we plug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'll just have your filters and stuff there. It's a nice little filter there. Um, let's take a loose. Helps to read the instruction manual sometimes, but I haven't got to that point yet, so <laughs> we'll uh, check that out a bit. <laughs> Just, um, let's see. Do you just go in like so? Or do you go in? Okay. Yeah, I'll read the instruction manual. <laughs> and then last but not least, you have the uh, the hose here, just the standard vacuum cleaner hose, and it's on. Uh, it's clear with a, a metal a wire to you know um, give it shape. But um, yeah, I guess it being clear kind of helps. You can see if it's got any clogs or anything in it. Just plugs into the side here, and that's pretty much it for the unboxing. It's that's for the micro USB cable, which will eventually get lost because I have a thousand of them anyway. So. <laughs> There you go. Um, so that's it for the review and uh, I mean for the unboxing. I hope this recorded this time and um, we'll catch you on the uh, review. So what do we think about this iVidi Pet vacuum? Um, we like it. <laughs> we uh, did some uh, tests with it uh, with our, uh, our two of our three dogs, uh, our German Shepherd and our uh, Pitbull Mix and uh, yeah we really like it. Um, Something that I was really impressed with was how much pet dander it sucked out of the dog's fur. Um, we, we, you know, we've brushed our dogs before and um, we've used vacuums on them before. But we've never noticed how, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the uh, camera at all. But if you look around the filter there, there is quite a bit of pet dander left in the, um, in, in the, around the filter from what emptied it earlier. So, um, yeah, it, it did a really good job of that. It got a lot of that pet dander out. Um, with our, um, uh, this one, we, with our, um, German Shepherd, we used this, this, uh, pin brush type. Uh, it worked really well on her. Uh, she enjoyed it. Um, one thing we noticed about with our dogs is they were not scared of this thing at all because this this thing is is, is quite quiet. Um, didn't make a lot of noise. It's uh, it's got a long enough hose where you can um, get it away from the animals um, a little bit. You know, but it's it doesn't make a lot of noise at all. It's a really quiet vacuum cleaner, especially for considering the amount of suction it has. Um, I was quite impressed with that. With our um, Pibble Mix, we used this, uh, uh, we call that a rake, uh, uh, de-shedding blade. Uh, we used this one, and uh, yeah, it did a really wonderful job with the uh, with him too. And neither one of the dogs was scared of it at all. Um, so uh, yeah, it's the, the three of them, out of the three of them, we, we tested two on two dogs, and both of them enjoyed it. We'll have, you know, have some video showing up throughout this video but um yeah we've we've had a really um good experience with this thing it's really quiet it um it's got a significant amount of suction and it's got a good uh section of uh, quality uh um, good selection of brushes going um might use this one later um this is a nice trimmer it's got a good nice feel in it um i couldn't get it turned on in the um the um, unboxing video, but that's because I wasn't paying attention to the instructions. So all you got to do is just hold the power for one second, and it turns on. Um, nice, uh, nice trimmers. Um, so yeah, um, I was wrong in my um, in my uh, unboxing video. This is uh, USB C, not a um, micro USB, which is a significant improvement because micro USB. Kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> it tends to break. Um, I charged it with my laptop charger, so it comes with. It does come with its own cable, but since I have my laptop charger already plugged in, 
and that's what we did. So, um, yeah, it's so got a good quality, um, a good selection of brushes. Um, this is an upholstery brush for cleaning your upholstery, cleaning up after your dog. Um, the same thing with the uh, just um, just normal nozzle. It's uh, the it's, this set is not only made for vacuuming your dogs, but vacuuming up after your dogs. So, yeah, um, it's, uh, it really works really well. Um, the the cord here, the power cord, um, just unrolls. I like the way it tucks that it tucks the uh, plug right in there, and um, but yeah, you just spin it around there, and uh, yeah. Um, got some nice rubber feet. They kind of got like, like almost like suction cups. Um, it definitely keeps it from sliding around while you're um, using it. We use it on our wood deck, so there wasn't much of a wasn't much of a uh, threat of it sliding around. But you know, it would help if we were using it on our hardwood floors. That plugs in simply. Um, all the the attachments plug in simply and securely. It's not going to come off on you. It's got a nice clipped in it's not coming off on you while you're using it I like that feature we don't you know don't want your hoses falling off especially with your clippers and stuff while you're vacuuming your dog all these are in securely they're easy to take on and off you just you know press the button and uh, yeah you're you're vacuuming so um, Overall, um, we really like it. We have, like I said, we have three dogs, and both of them need brushing and de-shedding quite often. So um, we really, really like the setup. Um, we normally do our dogs outside, but sometimes when it's inclement weather, like during the winter when it's snowing and stuff, we don't want to always be outside freezing while we're trying to vacuum or you know, brush our dogs. And um, there was like no while we were brushing there was no like hair falling off on the floor or anything so um you know that kept it clean so we can you know during the winter and stuff we can vacuum our dogs inside while we're brushing them we don't have to worry about hair going everywhere um so really convenient uh really nice setup here uh, it's, it, and it even looks even looks good uh, we, it's uh you know it's a just a nice looking device and um and um so yeah um, really easy to clean. You have two ways to clean it. You can either just press the button on this side. It pops open the end. You can just dump it out with the whole thing, you know, put together. Um, or on this side, you press this button. And this is a little bit more difficult at times, but I think there you go. And yeah, you can pick the whole thing out and then you know, take it over and you know, pull the filter out and dump it that way. Um, of course, you can also you know, clean and change the filters if you need to. So, um, nice carry handle that you can take it wherever you need it to work with it. Good feature there. <laughs> so, um, and it has um, on the power. It has three different settings here. Um, you, um, just push the button uh, three times to cycle through or another time to turn it off. Um, do hold the button for one second. It doesn't automatically, you know, just it doesn't turn on like that. You gotta hold it for a second to get it to turn on. It kind of tripped me out for a second there. I thought it, I thought it didn't work to start with, but um, yeah, it worked really well. So you just you know, gotta hold it on for a second and it will come on. Um, gotta say this was sent to me for free to review and um, I'm not getting paid to do this review the opinions are all my own so um, overall I would say if you're looking into getting it um, yeah I would suggest it um, you know good dog brushes and stuff kind of add up in price and you know you get a, a good set a selection of them here um, you you get the 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 convenience of a, a smallish vacuum cleaner that you can um, you know follow your follow your dogs around and clean up their messes with or you know you can keep from making messes so um, overall we liked it um, I can't think of any con uh, significant complaints that I have with it um, I 
I didn't come up with any complaints, uh, to be honest. Um, other than this being a little bit difficult to take off here, uh, of course that might just be inexperienced, but other than that being just a little bit difficult to take off, I've had no uh, complaints about the device. So if you're looking at it, might as well go ahead and pick it up. You have a good day and take care.